provide food instead of having the electric shut off this month. Those are the tough decisions many parents face. As English teacher Amanda Albrand explains, this food pantry helps those who need it. It is huge for these kids to not have to worry about where their next meal is coming from. It's a worry that about 30 percent of Silver Creek School District students face. Albrand teaches just across the hall from the food pantry inside Silver Creek High School, where she serves as a co-coordinator. The relationship that you build with students is number one. The other stuff comes secondary, and that's why it's so important that we meet those basic needs. Educators here have been meeting those basic needs for nearly two years since opening this food pantry for district families. Every Thursday from 3.30 until 5.30, it's open for families to come and get what they need from food to personal hygiene items. And these doors are also always open if students need something during the day. It's not just everything in this pantry being offered to families. On Thursdays when it's open, this entire hallway gets transformed. We get a lot of fresh produce each week from Dare to Care. Now Spectrum is awarding the pantry $2,500 to keep these shelves stocked. It allows us to keep getting food. Joined by Indiana State Senator Chris Garton, the check was presented to the food pantry team Wednesday. It's really important for us to be a part of the community, and this is uh, the heart of the community, making sure that no child goes home hungry. Um, this is open to families that they can come and do their shopping. Their goal is to continue growing to better serve the community. For their growing number of Latino clients, these signs are also in Spanish, and they've started offering products like masa and rice. School leaders and the community aim to keep it going. People who need can receive, and people that have give. Reporting in Sellersburg, Gladys Bautista, WLKY News.